This is my Road to Rank 1 series, where I take a brand new account and bring it all the way to Rank 1 in the world. Last season, I was able to make it all the way to Rank 4 in the world, but I couldn't get to Rank 1. So I'm going to be trying one more time this season to get all the way to Rank 1 in the world. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm playing on first position on this board over here. So immediately what pops out to me is I always look at the or we spots together, since the highest city quality and also allows you to play an easy or wheat sheep game. So I see that there's the 5, 8, 10. It's a very, very strong together. A strong or wheat and brick together too. And you also have a nice 3 to 1 port. I think you could also consider taking something like the 5, 9, 10. But I think you kind of need wheat here. Because if you think about what you get on the way back, like you're probably going to be getting some type of trashy spot. Unless if you take 5, 9, 10, unless you get some type of 9, 10, 11. But I think you almost have to take the 8, 5, 10 here. And if you take the 8, 5, 10, the problem is if you point upwards, the 3, 4, 8 player might beat you to this spot. So you might want to point right. But if you point right, the 692 player could also take go to the 3 to 1 on this side. But I think pointing up is probably the safest move because a 348 player who shares this brick spot with you is more likely to go on this spot, I think, over this. Maybe not, just for time's sake, they might go here. I'm not sure. You do take the 5810 here. And what do I get on the way back? But it depends what my opponent does in terms of placement, since I could easily see someone taking the 348 and like 5810 which creates a lot more space, such as a 4511. So I think I'm probably going to be taking some type of 5810 here. Now the question is, where do I drop my road? What does 692 go well with? 692 goes well with the 569. I think I'm going to point my road upwards, actually, not right. I think that there's still a pretty good chance I can still win the 3-1 to one port myself. I don't need to just concede this spot. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to concede this, but the 3-1 to one port over here. And the reason why I'm pointing upwards is worst case scenario, I lose a 3-1 port. I always have the 5 or to expand to. But if I point my road right and the 692 player builds, let's say, on the 2 wheat on the 3-1 port, well, I lose my 5 war spot, and I can't I can't get access to easy road settle anymore. And the 692 player, they can always get the road building and uh, road road settle all the way to the 5-2. I think that I'm probably just much better pointing my road upwards. I think that's just the safest move. So the second position, the red decide to take the 5-8-10 here, which I think makes a lot of sense. You lock up the last war. You have a strong 3-1 to one port over here, but you might lose it. Yeah, there's a good chance you do lose it. But maybe this guy on 8-4-3 points right to double up in the ore instead, and they don't care about it. And then you get a free 3-1 port. And you can go 5-8-10 plus 6-9-2. That's really freaking good. Wait, if red gets 5-8-10, 6-9-2, this game's over. This is actually a very, very difficult position to, to play. But I don't think that's going to be open. I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying so much that someone takes 5-6-9, 6-9-2. And this 692 cannot go to red. It's so good because red is able to get a strong wheat sheep with a tad bit of ore that never gets blocked. But what's really good about this is that they get the wood port and suddenly they have a, a, a flexible ore wheat sheep's position. And basically, as soon as they upgrade this, they're able to pop every single turn. And that's just, that's going to be a nightmare to beat. So yeah, yeah that's that's not good. Okay, cool. 692, okay. I, I was pretty confident 692 was going to be taken. An 843 and point downwards. I think red probably does lose his 3 to 1 port. But red gets the 4911 anyways. So they're still pretty happy with their setup no matter what. So black is probably going to take something along the lines of uh, maybe 843. I think that would make a lot of sense for them. I think as black, whenever he took the 569, I might have actually pointed my road downwards to build on the 910. Just because uh, to get some access to the ore. But you know, pointing left at least it guarantees you a settlement spot for sure. But I think you could point downwards just to get the 910. I think it's a little bit better. Okay, cool. He points upwards. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 you leave it open for me. What? Because since at first, if red was going to point upwards, I'm going to just bone them by taking this 6311 and be like, well, sorry, man, and build my raid to the 61112. And I still might do that. 6311 to the um, 61112. It seems like a very bad idea to race against uh, black here. And since I also do need a 3 to 1 port, and that's going to be a big problem. So now I'm almost wishing that I pointed my road right. Since, since blue doesn't ever go to this 3 to 1 port. Blue always, almost always go to this 3 to 1 port and then goes in the wood port. I mean, it's still a safe road, don't get me wrong. But now I do 6311 point right to 31011. I think, I think. And then I maybe try to win over here. I don't know, black always beats me here. And then maybe go over here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. 6311 point right seems fine in a build to 31011. Able to actually get like a road network here. But I, I'm going to be facing red for like a very tough road battle. I think I put my road right just because the 31011 is just a, it, it's a backup win condition. It's very much a backup win condition here. And I think I had to go after red here just because like red just has everything I want basically. I think this is probably the move here. And I can probably just jack from red to get a wheat or brick. I think I'll do this. Ah, oh, shoot, I ran out of time. So, okay, my mouse got stuck there. If I could do this again, the move is actually not the 8, but I think it's a 5. The reason why it's the 8 and not the 5 is because I'm scared black's gonna plow me. And if I'm scared that black's gonna plow me, I should be jacking from black here. Um, since they got all the cards I want. They got brick, wheat, and sheep. So I think I might actually have to hold. Do I actually drop a road here instead? Actually, I'll hold, I'll hold. Let's see if he wants it. Or not. He just jacks it from me right back. <laughs> well, he gets a road and I get a road. It's all good.
We got 10 rolls. Cool. Five rolls. This is kind of scary since Black, I think we're racing for this 3 to 1 port together. I think this time around, I don't think I'm able to offer Red anything. And Red's also holding their Reds too. So I think I'd like to block this now. And this time I rob Black since Black's also holding their Reds too, I think. Actually, no, Black's not holding the Reds. Black's not holding the Reds. But I think I have to do this and jack from Black here. If I get a Wheat, Sheep, that's all good. If I get a Wheat, I'm pretty happy. If I get a Brick, I'm pretty happy. Sheep is probably the worst card here. It's not the worst card since it allows me to buy a D, actually. I'll buy a D here. I'll buy a D. Year plenty. That's good. Now, where the hell do I drop my road? Because I really want to drop my road somewhere. Do I commit to this over here, since I have a year plenty to guarantee myself the race? Or do I drop my road over here to 310.11 and secure my road network? I think going here or securing this is better. I think this is probably the best move, I think. We can only have one card, since we only have one sheep now. Black's hand is a road plus a wheat. I think I'll hold here still. Ah, uh, I don't like holding. I'm willing to just pass here, since so I'm still racing black here. Road and a wheat. Okay, it's now red is at six cards. They're going to commit the road somewhere. Probably to the three to one port. Eight rolls again. Yeah, this is not good. It's now basically this guy's waiting for a sheep to road settle. Okay, blue decides to go this. It goes to go five two instead. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Blue can play orbit sheep. This guy's waiting for a single sheep only. Do I ever year plenty for a wheat here just to get a three to one port? I don't know if that's that good, really. Do I hold at six cards just so I can try to win this three to one? Maybe instead of popping the last turn, I could have held too. It's a bit dangerous, but I would get road settle at least to over here. And basically, black is able to win the spot with any, like, basically any three or nine rolling. So just gotta dodge threes or nines. It's fine. Okay, cool. I was gonna say black has two sheep, but I think red's tracking clearly. Okay, he goes to build to 9-10. Okay, I like this move. He gets cheap. And also, uh, he knows that blue's going to not, not over there. So black still doesn't have the, um, it does, still doesn't have the sheep in hand yet. So decides to commit here instead. I'm waiting for a single 10. That'd be nice. 10 or 7? 3. So this is the moment of truth, right? Because of 3 rolled, black now has, basically they have road, road, settle in hand. So I can either, one, go for this spot. Or if I go for gear plenty for wheat to wheat, right? I'm just road settling here and doing nothing. I gotta do this, I think. I think that just makes the most sense. I gotta take this for wheat. I'm not getting any trades anyways. Let me try this with black. Since so we're racing for this three to one together. Sheep for wheat. I'll take this with red. I do this with for sheep, wheat, or. Okay, I'll take this over here. And it cleans out my hand. It also cleans out. Yeah, so this is perfect. Since I don't have to waste my year plenty now. So I can do this. And now if black decides to commit their rows to 3, 10, 11. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I probably get jacked now though. But black, let's say they commit the road to 3, 10, 11. I still have my year plenty to road settle on the 3, 10, 11 to secure the spot up. Okay, and I get jacked since I'm at three points. Ooh, he steals from black here. Giving it to... <laughs> but it's also, you just got all the good cards. I think that's probably what this guy's thinking. And he's probably looking for some type of wheats. So there's the road settle in hand. That's good. There's, there's more brick over here. So yeah, like Red did that trade, giving me their only wheat. And now they're in a bad spot again. But wheats in general are pretty rare on this board. I'm not ahead of everyone. I only have a road settle. It doesn't mean I'm just crushing the game or anything like that. Take this for two bricks, maybe. Or two sheeps. I'll take that. And this is your settle, right? Brick for sheep. Two sheep, two sheep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I pushed it. I knew he needs this. He needs it. He needs it to settle. I mean, I could be mean and not give it to him too. But the two sheep is pretty good for me, really. Now the question is, do I plow black all the way to the four sheep? I might need to. Like, roll me seven, roll me seven. Punish. Eight. Okay, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. We can do something like this. I know you need a, a bunch of woods, don't you, Red? And so I'm not giving it to you on your turn. If he says no, I just have to go ahead and road settle over here. So I have to plow him over here. Now black probably quits. Um, there's something I like to say, it's called rage quit equity. So whenever you do a move like that, you make him rage quit. And then it increases your chances to win. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, yeah, it's poor black. I think I simply have to hold here. I don't think I ever road settle to. I don't think I do the settlement yet. I have to do that move, though. It's way too good, right? I mean, it's just like I get a second wheat spot. I can get a road network over here. I'm literally surrounding black's placements. I'm doing like a massive expansion where I'm just, I'm just surrounding you. There we go. Eight rolls. Okay. Let's see. So nine, nine. Okay, I keep paying attention to the game now. Now, what is black going to do? Holds at eight cards for him. And he sevens out again. Oh, my gosh. Poor guy. Poor, poor, poor guy. <laughs> he dumps all the bricks. He jacks for me. Understandable. Jacks a sheep. Okay, cool. Finally gets a settle, too. And uh, 10 rolls. I think I have to year plenty here, which is kind of nasty, for an ore. And I think I do wood ore here, and I settle. Okay, I gotta do this. So now I have a brick port, double wheat, and strong ore. This is a pretty good setup now. Hell yeah. I'm on five cards. My ore is disguised perfectly. 
Nine. Okay, this is not good since this guy's he needs a lot more wood to try to city. Unless he already has it. I don't think he has it though. He probably buys two Ds though. He either buy two Ds. What is that move? Okay, that's just a city, right? That's just a city. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so I guess he had the third ore already. So now I am close to now that's my city. That's good. Seven. Hell yeah. I love this game. I gotta punish him over here, I think. It's either this or it's either this. I think I almost want to solo block him here. Just because red is doing really, really good. Actually, you know, I'll block this. I'll block this. It seems more democratic. I think he does have a city over here. But the reason why I wanted to block the 10 ore was because blue over here has a knight card. Or probably has a D. And this might be a knight. And he might just move it back on the 10. So I'll probably just do this. Jack from him. Get a brick. And that's a city over here. For two ore. And now my setup's uh, looking very good. Now I can go for army myself. Perfect. 12. I'm just waiting for Black to give me the rage quit equity and then like, quit the game. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, what? He blocks from Red. I mean, Red's also doing pretty good themselves too. I don't blame them. But also, I think that might be a revenge rob from uh, Red jacking from Black in that last spot. See, exactly. Exactly. It's a revenge rob. See what you've done though, right? Which is true. If you jack from someone and make it so they just have... Oh man, jacking from Red again. I think the thing is, Red actually has a pretty good shot at winning this game. Like, uh, like, probably on par with me. I think it's just, I am slightly ahead, but I think Red can also just go for road and go for army too. I mean, the thing is, I'm the person who plowed you. Like, double plowed you, man. <laughs> he only robbed you once. And it also, it makes sense from Red to rob him. But also, like, as Red, instead of just jacking from Black, you can offer him an extortion deal too. The middle open? Well, I, I can't actually commit my road here because I might get plowed by Red here. Red, Black. So, six rolls. Okay, so the eight rolls over here. I think this guy might be able to drop. Um, okay, never mind. He might have been able to do road, road, settle over here. Five rolls. That's really good for me. I should be able to do road, settle here and actually take the middle now. And if it's seven rolls on my turn, I'm pretty happy. The game's like very much not over since I have a strong weakness, which is the eight brick. No seven. Okay, that's pretty good. Do I take a second city here or to simply lock up the middle? Yeah, I think I have to just lock up the middle. This is too good to let my opponents have since the problem is if my opponents locks this. If yeah, I need this just to secure road. And then uh, now I'm pretty close to just locking up army here. I don't need a second city anymore. I simply can just... Um, and also, I don't need to worry about connecting since I can always connect around here. So I just go ahead and just go for largest army and go for road at the same time. Seven. Triple seven out. Give it to me. Okay, that's good. That's, that's fine. Nine is a really good roll. It's in red plows for this guy over here. It's a good roll for red, not me. And then they're also now have a three to one port. Red traded me their own wheat for sheep. And then because I traded wheat for sheep, now they're hunting for the wheat. By trading me that card, it gave me the perfect settle. As red, I probably wouldn't have taken that trade since it only marginally helped red's hand, but it helped my hand a bunch. So this entire monster, which is my setup, was actually started by red with that one trade when it had like a sheep for wheat. Okay, three for one. He's probably hunting for the city, which he, ha which he has. Yep, nicely done. And uh, I just roll two. Ooh, that two is very good. And I simply just pass here. I don't think there's much for me to do. I could play an aggressive knight hunting for a wheat, but I don't think there's any reason. I wouldn't say it's completely sealed for me yet. I think, uh, I think a lot of things can happen still. It's definitely not sealed for me at all. I have pretty good shots, but red can always take road like this. They take road, which is seven. Settle for eight. Um, but also, I mean, this this is also pretty good. Whenever the eights roll, it's pretty good for me. Road settle. Nicely done. Brick for sheep. Do I take this with the black here? I don't think I've, I'm super incentivized to do it here. I'll do brick for wheat, maybe. If I didn't help white get to the brick port. Okay. I guess I might have been able to take that trade to avoid red taking that trade. But I didn't know red was going to take it. Ooh, wood for wheat. Maybe I might do this. Two wheat, maybe? That's so greedy. Okay. I should have taken that trade, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Wood for wheat. It doesn't do much for me, though. Actually, no, it does. It does. It does. Wood for wheat allows me to go ahead and pop a death card. And also, I should take a trade so like no one else trades with black here. Because black's pretty much dead. Okay, blue decides to drop by another D. That's pretty bad for me. That's why I wanted the wood for wheat here. But I think I might actually hold off on road and do something like this and keep going. Do I want to go after red or do I want to go after blue? I think this is good in general. And then I think I want to go after blue here because they got a lot of wheat from that two rolling. So they still have a good chunk of wheat in their hand. I got a wood instead. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'll pour for this. I'll probably do this and I'll play a, uh, a by D, I think, is the move. So I get a second knight here. Now, do I want to play a knight aggressively to go ahead? I don't think I do. There's no point, right? It's only at two cards. I think it's fine to not play an aggressive knight. I'm going to let blue get a little bit of pacing, but they only have three cards. The reason why I'm not going to play a knight for pacing's sake is because... I want to defend the 8 brick very, very much. It's very important I'm able to defend the spot. Okay, cool. Cool, that's good. I mean, this, yeah, this game's not solid for me at all. And so I might lose army. Oh, I don't even have an army. I don't have army or road. That's good for me. Blue doesn't have a knight. Interesting. If blue doesn't have a knight, then I probably have to go ahead and block red now. 
So I'll probably do this. I'm going to play an aggressive knight and jack from red twice, I think. And I'll put it on the 10. So do this. Jack from red. Get the wood. And I'm going to play an aggressive knight. Actually, I should probably buy dev card first. Let's buy dev card first. Knight card. I'll play an aggressive knight and then jack him over here again, right on this spot. And now uh, his life should be pretty, a lot more miserable. And I, and I should be able to get set up for road and army here. Do I want to commit my last road here? I guess I could commit a road. The thing is, black can also have road budding and cut me off. I'll just simply hold just to go ahead and make sure I can get it all at once. And once again, like, I don't roll four cards at once. I can only roll three cards at once. So I'm more okay with doing this. Here, eight points. Nicely done. Um, the, the problem with asking for donations is you're the rich player. And, um, like, the rich, the player who actually has winning shots, like, you can't ask for donations from people who are at four points while you're at eight. It, that just doesn't work that way. If anything, it should be black who's getting road, not this way. Exactly. Like, it should be black. Exactly. Exactly. It should, it should be road to black. All right, here's a brick mono from blue. All right, just play the brick mono. Oh, the ore mono? No. Oh, my gosh. You got to play the brick mono. It's whatever. And now there's going to be a bully and uh, just bully him over here. Actually, that's the only way I lose, right? That's the only way I lose. Actually, well, let's do this. There's Jack from red over here. Actually, shoot. I might have not needed to play that. I might have needed to block the 9 wheat. This is actually a mistake. Since red can city and pull for the win, I don't think they have enough, right? They might have enough, though. If a, if a 10 or 9 rolls, they might be able to pull for the win. But I should be able to simply just connect, and that's it. Like, yeah, I'll just connect. I was thinking about being a bully and road road settling over here, but just connecting is a better play. I wanted to do both. But I'm, I'm really that the game, it's not game point at all. And um, I probably could have plowed him, but just for kicks, but there's no point. Oh, wait, actually, it doesn't even matter since I take back road. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I should just extend my roads fully, actually. Uh, I'll just do this. And then since I have a knight card, yeah, let's just do this. Even if they do plow me, it doesn't really matter. And I'll just drop an extra road here. I'm um, just guaranteeing that, like, nothing nothing can happen. I'm theoretically just clearing out my hand for Monopoly. And then next turn, I should be able to win. Oh, oh wait, hold up. This guy can take a road. That's still not enough, though. He has to build to 11 roads, and then my roads have to be split. So he has to build two roads here. Road and road. But yeah, that, that, that actually, that mistake almost bit me. Like, it can bite me in the back. But at least black, he can plow me. Yeah, yeah, at least black can have the satisfaction of plowing me. Okay, jacks from me. Cool. All right, plow me. Nicely done. I'm at 10 roads. Nicely done. And then on my turn, I take largest army, and that's the game. Nicely done. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, on this game, honestly, like, I was really not totally sure about how I was placing my roads in this position. But I think it ended up working out really well. I think putting my road right is pretty strong because no one's ever going to take this. I also knew that this brick port was, this 3 to 1 was very essential for anyone to win. And then as soon as I got enough cards to actually get on the brick port, I'm like, that's super, super good for my setup. And then I just be able to get this entire road now. Where overall, it's just really, really good. So just looking at the dice stats, I did get robbed the most. So I was able to win with road and army here. And honestly, I think that what needed to happen was blue needed to buy more dev cards to try to fight me for army you need black or red to fight me for road and then that way like i have to build to 10 points it makes my life difficult and that way it gives the um red the highest chance of winning but also the thing is red traded me the settlement to this eight brick it traded me their only wheat to get the settlement and then they went plucking for black i do think this is partially red's fault but also i think black's anger could have just been directed at me but honestly it doesn't really matter since black lost this game no matter what even if they robbed me a bunch it wouldn't have changed the outcome since as soon as that happens they just lose but yeah this is like an in-person game they might be able to protest a lot more but they weren't so just a few like you have to be be careful whenever you take trades like how much am i helping my opponent versus how much is this helping me since red wasn't tracking carefully they gave me this free settlement basically for nothing i, I mean the trade helped them because it got them a sheep which they didn't produce but it gave me a road settlement and it's just too good for me essentially when i was forced to use like my year plenty or, or otherwise or simply drop a road maybe commit over here get plowed by black and the game's really even all right that was a pretty uh dominant game thanks for watching i appreciate it only one more game until i'm able to start really climbing up the ranks thank you so much all right bye bye